So over the weekend, I've been going through this book. This is my notebook that uh, I actually just filled it up at the last Funnel Hacking Live, but it's got all of my notes from all the conferences I went to last year. And it's been a lot of fun relearning, reliving those experiences. The reason I was doing it is because I want to share more of my lessons. And today, I want to share the biggest thing that completely transformed my life. So uh, last year in July, we went to UPW in Chicago. And at that event, uh, that event, UPW just in general, before I get into everything I learned, is amazing! <laughs> It is such a life-changing experience. I would highly recommend you go. I think you, I think everyone should take time and invest in going to Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within because of all of the different applications to your personal life. And if your personal life is not where you want it, your business life will never be where you want it. So start there. But I went to UPW. It was an amazing experience. But the biggest thing I learned is that I kept letting my need for significance get in the way. And it could have ruined my life if I did not address it. And that will sound crazy, but it's true. See, I, I, growing up, I always craved my father's love craved his attention. I wanted him to see me as significant, as worthy, as someone that's worth something. And we all do. We all have these needs to be seen as significant in someone else's life. And so I, the biggest person that I wanted to be significant to was my dad. The crazy thing is I was already significant to him. He, he's very proud of me. It means a ton to me when he even tells me that. But I would work so hard, so hard. I'd go out of my way to prove to my dad how significant I was. And the problem with that is that emotionally, my actions put my wife second because my need for significance was stro so strong from my dad that sometimes I would rush to tell him about my victory instead of sharing my victory with the most important person in the world to me. And so I didn't understand that. Oh, at the time, me and my wife had been married for eight years and wonderful relationship, ton of fun, we got along great. But there were times when she would say, hey, I feel second. I feel like you're not here for me. I feel like you're constantly thinking about work or working on work. What, what we learned together, because she went to UPW with me, and I would highly recommend that if you have a spouse or a significant other, go together. She went to UPW with me. And in that experience, what I learned was that my need for significance from my dad, my desire to prove myself to him, to go share with him everything that's happening, was causing my wife to feel second. And that's not good for anybody. Anybody at all. My dad's already proud of me. I don't need to prove anything to him. But emotionally... I didn't understand that. I didn't know that. So at UPW, when I learned that I don't need to prove myself to my dad, he, he already knows I'm valuable. What I need to do is focus on taking care of my family. That, that was life-changing. We Before UPW, we had a good relationship. I'd say we had a great relationship. After UPW, it was phenomenal. Our relationship completely changed. And it's never been the same since. 
understanding that, understanding that my needs for significance was getting in my way, the way of what I wanted out of life, the way of my relationship with my family, probably the way of the relationship with my kids. Understanding that and changing it, life altering. The biggest thing I've learned from Tony Robbins is you cannot let significance or certainty run your life. If significance or certainty, the need to be significant or the need to be certain about what's going to happen are the biggest things in your life, you will never get what you deserve. You will never get to where you want to go because you're going to be so wrapped up, so wrapped up in being significant and being certain of where the next paycheck is going to come from or how this is going to work out or this isn't perfect enough. Whatever, whatever it looks like, if significance or certainty are your number one needs as a human, they are hurt holding you back. They certainly held me back. And since I was able to make that change, I've changed a lot of other things in my life. For example, uh, I was business partners with my parents. And I sold my part of the business back to them back in November to start my own business, Unboxing Events. We are now moving. We've both lived in Idaho our entire lives. We are packing up. We're moving from Boise, Idaho to Orlando, Florida, because that's where live events are. That's what I need to do to make this business work at the level that I know it will work. I'm embracing that change. So I want you to think about that. What is significance doing for you? Because if I hadn't realized that, that I needed my dad's significance so much, I never would have been able to leave my business. I would have come up with some excuse for why I had to stay. As crazy as it sounds, I believe it completely because history has shown it. I've had these ideas. I've wanted to start my own business in the past, but I always kept coming back. Kept coming back to the family business. Your need for significance could be holding you back in a big way. It was for me, and it's amazing the changes that have happened because I was able to let go. So I want to encourage you, let go. You don't need to hold on to it. You don't need to hold on to that significance or that need for certainty. Embrace the need for uncertainty or the need for love and connection or the need to contribute to the world or the need to grow. All of those basic human needs will get you further in life. The need for certainty and the need for significance won't. So I just want to encourage you, think about what need do you strive for the most? What need is the most important in your world? Once you understand that need, you can either embrace it or change it. That's up to you. I, I don't care what you do. But that's my experience. That's the number one lesson I learned from Tony Robbins is you have to embrace the uncertainty. You have to embrace love and connection and growth and contrib contribution, contributing to the world. You cannot. Because my number one and two were significance and certainty. That's why I couldn't get where I wanted to go. So I want to encourage you to let go. Embrace uncertainty. Embrace your calling. Take action. Make the changes that you need to make in order to change the world because you can. And the world needs you. They need your mission. They need your calling. They need you to get out of your comfort zone and take action. So I hope you do. Have a fantastic day and we'll talk to y'all soon.